Um, you know, we looked at the film against Michigan State. You know, we played hard. You know, it was an ugly game, but we won. And we found a way to win at the end. So uh, we're trying to capitalize on that. You know, coming practice, we got we got better yesterday. We really got after it. You know, today is going to be another day getting ready for Northwestern. So, you know, it's just, like you said, it's going to be another uh, maturity game, character game. And we got we to gotta fight it out through all 40 minutes. Let's talk about the mo momentum you guys can build with another victory coming out the big run against Michigan State. I mean, it'll be huge. You know, I think we've done pretty well at home so far. You know, we only lost one. And uh, obviously that was a game we could have got, but we're going to continue to get better. You know, obviously Northwestern is a good team. They're not going to be easy to beat, but they're, uh, we, we obviously think we can win that game. So, you know, we just got to focus in. We got to do something better than we did last time. We beat them at their place, but you know, we still got to learn from uh, our mistakes over there. You kind of took Sharon out of the game last time. What did you do as effective against him? Um, I just was aggressive, you know. I didn't, I didn't let them catch the, easy, catch the ball easy. You know, I made them take uh, pressure shots, and uh, you know, I plan on doing this next game. You know, that's gonna, that's my goal is to uh, you know hold them under 10 points. So that's that's what I'm looking forward to doing. You know, uh, and then hopefully that's gonna help my offense again. You've had defensively the last couple of weeks. You've had a, you know a lot of people focus on your scoring, but defensively you've been one of the better guys in the league. Did you is that a pride thing, or why did you kind of turn the corner? Yeah, it's definitely. You know, anybody can score the basketball. Anybody can put the ball on the hoops. But you know, it's the people that stand out that play defense as well. So. You know, it's something I want to do every game. I don't want to take plays off. I want to be able to guard the best player and uh, be able to shut them down. So after the game, you know, I'm feeling good about myself knowing I did things on both ends of the floor. Did you take defense seriously at Warren? Was that one of your priorities? Yeah, you know, I was always like uh, leading, uh, you know, with steals and stuff like that, taking charges. You know, I led my team in charges in high school, which people might not even know. But, you know, uh, ever since, you know, I started working out with uh, Vicky in the summer, yeah, he, he told me like, charges are one of the best things. So I, ever since then, I started taking a lot more charges. You know, high school, I, I took it upon myself to cut the best players. Well. Toughest dude that you've covered this year? Toughest guy? Um, I mean, a lot of these guys are hard. You know, I think Frazier was obviously hard to stay in front of. You know, he's such a quick guard. And, you know, I, I got him by a few inches being a guard myself. So I think he's one of the toughest, you know. So I'm sure I was I'm close second. Well, you guys keep getting some extra three-point shots up. And, and how do you get those to kind of fall? Yeah, you know, we're, you know, me, Sam, DJ just got done shooting a little bit, you know, before practice started, and uh, we came in early. You know, we know, we know Northwest's going to play zone, and uh, I think we've been, been in the gym a lot more. Obviously, we haven't made shots as of recent, but, you know, that's why we're in practice, that's why we're in the gym right now. What are you weighing now? Um, I'm, like, between 190 and 200, so you get the changes all the time. I think I'm not going to do that. Yeah. It's been harder to get the team uh, ready to play Northwestern at home than you did beat them on the road. Uh, not necessarily. It's more. I mean, we're more focused. You know, we can't. We don't want to. We can't afford to lose another home game. So, you know, I think you know the fans always, they always do a great job showing up for us. And uh, hopefully, we come out. You know, with a lot of energy, more energy than we had last game. You know, I think we, it's like probably one of, one of the most physical games. You know, this one not gonna be as physical, but you know, every every play is gonna count. Have you seen them play recently? Yeah. You know, we watched the game. I guess off. Uh, Nebraska the other day uh, after practice, you know, it was like the third, uh, the second half. So, you know, we watched a little bit of that, and I went home and uh, I caught the ending score. So, you know, obviously they're a team with a lot of capabilities, but I know I think we're gonna be able to pull off the win. Have they improved since you played them last? Yeah, you know, I haven't watched a whole bunch of their games. But I try to catch, you know, if we're about to play somebody, I try to catch them in their most recent game coming up to that one. So, you know, I think every team's improved since we played, and uh, you know, every team's getting better every day. Can you get as much satisfaction playing defense as? Scoring 43. Um, you know, you know score, people don't notice that as much. You yeah, know. you know, at the end of the game, if I if I've done my duties on defense, you know, I'm gonna be happy to get away. You know, whether whatever the score says. You know, obviously, if we win the game, it's a plus. So, um, just being with a guard, I mean, it, it gets me a lot more excitement than when I score. Actually, does your athletic ability help you on that end of court more than, than offensively? Oh, definitely, because you know, I feel like I'm able to guard one through four. You know, uh, I've guarded players like uh, Tim Frazier. You know, I've guarded Dream on last game. You know, I got to ride the humble. You know, these are top players in the league right now. So, you know, I, I definitely take pride in everything.